Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at a uh, Xbox 360. So this is the console. It doesn't work. Um, I think it has graphical issues. We'll power it on. I'm gonna zoom in. Uh, so it should boot as we see there green lights. And it has graphical nonsense. Sorry if my speaker sounds funky. Um, sorry microphone, I don't have one working so yeah. But yeah, that's how it looks. So essentially we're gonna take it apart and we're gonna reball it and see if we can get it going. So let's do that now. Alrighty, we got the Achi, <laughs> the board on the Achi. So this is my setup. I use this jig, it's about three inches away from the bottom. You guys have seen it before, but I have three thermal couples. This one's attached to the Achi. These are two X whoop, two external ones. So I like to have two on the left, one on the right. So I'm gonna leave a link to it, but essentially this is a flawed GPU and the model number is, I believe, 0256, so maybe you can make it out there. Um, it's 256010, so the top one up there, second row. And basically we're going with a fixed one, which is 89981 which is a fixed model. I'll leave a link to the xenon library website that has all this beautiful information but from here essentially what i do is my bottom is at the 280 it's going to heat it to 160 so when here hits about 160 this kicks in 220 218 225 ish is when i lift but we'll see all that so as you see three thermal couples 25 26 27 27 so they're all about the same i'm gonna set you guys up go into time lapse mode lift clean that guy is already uh, leaded, so we don't need to worry about that. Put it back on, flow it at 185, 190, and we'll be golden, hopefully. So that's a quick rundown. Let's uh, set you guys up and just do it. While the profile is running to heat the console up to the required temps to remove the GPU, I want to say thank you to today's sponsor, PCBWay, the premier destination for top quality printed circuit boards. In a short span, PCBWay has become the go-to choice for seamless online ordering, rapid prototyping, and unparalleled customization. From hobbyists like myself to industry leaders, PCBWay has earned the trust through its commitment to precision and reliability. Cutting-edge technology and a skilled team ensure that every PCB meets the highest standards. Beyond circuits, PCBWay fosters a vibrant community of creators turning ideas into reality. Join the innovation wave with PCBWay, where quality meets ingenuity. And until the end of December, check out the PCBWay Christmas Big Sales where you can get up to 50% off all orders. Explore PCBWay for your next project.
keep in mind, this is just to test to see if it powers on, is all. Oop, I heard it. I heard it. Zero, 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 three, huh? I guess the GPU is no good. Kind of happens sometimes when you buy these stuff from AliExpress. Um, yeah, I usually get that with a bad GPU, so let's just, I'm gonna take a look around and verify to make sure. see if this guy works so I did a second reball which you guys saw replaced this guy with another chip so let's just put it back together and see what happens alrighty consoles back together as you see let's power it up and see if it'll work this time that looks like a bit no no now we're getting zero zero two zero Ugh. um now there's something else going on let me uh once again take another look at this and then we'll come back and figure out what's going on all right so i ended up putting on another gpu so this is gpu number three let's see if it works with this one and now a moment of truth Ugh. Zero, zero, one, zero, two. <laughs> Another GPU related issue. So, three for three still doesn't work. Yeah. We're back. Um, I think this is GPU one, two, three, four. So, the original GPU I took out, I put four other. GPUs. I think this was the original, and then I put four other ones. Um, and they didn't work, so on GPU number five. Um, basically, what's been happening was oop, uh, one, uh, all these GPUs are shorted, so um, it's just what happens. You, a lot of these come used from AliExpress. So I'll leave a link to the seller that used to sell good ones, but they've been selling kind of not good ones, so most of them are shorted. Which means you get zero zero three zero zero two zero zero one zero two stuff like that. So I put on another one that actually had good readings. So hopefully when we apply some goop to it, it will end up working. So yeah, another Korea. It's a Korea one, so it's fixed. You know, same everything else. So let me just apply some thermal compound, and we will get testing. I don't know, it should work, hopefully. Good sign so far, I guess. Green light to go, baby. And if you look over there, it's booting the basher was on. Pretty NXT uh, blades. So yeah, it's working. Don't want to keep it on too long because it's going to overheat. So I'm going to turn off, and from here, I'm just going to give it a general cleaning. Um, put it back together, we'll come back once we're uh, there. So yeah. Alrighty, we got the console cleaned up, put back together in its original case. Power it on, still make sure she cooks. 
and still powering on. Continue over there, still booting. So, should have been an easy process, should have only taken me an hour max, but due to bad GPUs, it took me multiple days and multiple tries because I have to keep getting them swapped. Four GPUs later, we get this working. So, yeah, fun, interesting, I guess. Got it working, that's cool. You get to see me use my Achi once again. So, yeah, if you thought this was useful, fun, interesting, uh, like, comment, subscribe, it's always useful. As always, um, we'll do something fun again next time, and yeah, thanks for watching, and see you guys. Thank you.